Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing cha-ching number 148. Do you ever have one of those days where you feel like you're just running around like a chicken with your head cut off? That is such a morbid expression as well. But yeah, so I had to look up some stuff for the auction that Eric is going to tonight. And I feel like I have learned every single wrestler's name in history <laughs> doing my research on these freaking wrestling action figures. I know, and there are some vintage wrestling figures that can sell really, really well. So yeah, that's what I have been researching today. Um, and then I had to get dinner put in the crock pot and I have videos that I have to film and edit and it's just woo, crazy day. So anyway, cha-ching number 148. We're going to get straight into it. The first thing that I have is a basket. This was a white oak basket and the maker's name was Daryl Arwejo. Now I have sold some of his baskets in the past that I have gotten at the folk art auctions that we've gone to and they have always sold really, really well. I don't know why this happens, but it happens a lot at auctions um, where the day starts out and people are spendy, 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 spendy. And then as the auction goes on, um, I don't know if people just get tired or what, but they don't seem to be spending as much. So earlier on in that auction, I couldn't touch a lot of the Arwejo baskets that were there. And this was at the end of the auction. I walked away with this basket for $1. One dollar. Meanwhile, people were paying out the butt earlier in the auction. So I just I don't understand, but I'm thankful that that happens. But it's just weird how that happens. Anyway, one dollar for the basket. It sold for $132.50. I also sold a lot of 20 Littlest Pet Shop um, animals. Some Littlest Pet Shop animals can sell better than others. I just lotted this one together. I think there were a couple in there that were decent ones. Um, but like I said, I just slotted them. I wanted them out at one time. Um, and it sold for $49 and 99 cents. I don't think that's bad for a lot of 20. I probably picked these up at an auction and not for much. Um, also sold a lot of 35 magic tree house books. I feel like I got a pretty decent sized lot of these at a yard sale at one point. And then as I was yard sailing, I would pick up other ones to just kind of add to the pile. And you know, at yard sales, mostly children's books are like a quarter to 50 cents. So um, a lot of 35 of those and they sold for $39.99. Also sold a vintage Nintendo watch. This was actually still sealed, so new old stock. We won this at an auction. I think we paid around $50 for it, and it sold for $149.99. Now this next item also came from an auction. At one point we had two of these. They both sold, not at the same time, um, but they did both sell, and they were glass, kind of like art deco style, um, lamp shades and those sold for $49.99. Well, I should say it sold for $49.99. The other one sold for the same amount, but that was a while ago. Um, next we have a cobalt blue horse on a nest. This was by Summit Glass. You guys, if you watch all my videos, saw me pick this up at the antique store and it ended up selling for $59.99. I think I paid 10 to 15 for it. Uh, let's see. Next item was for a lot of two oil paintings. These were real tiny oil paintings. The one was of a tube of toothpaste and the other one was dental floss. I know real specific, right? But these were by someone named Charles Weringer. If I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. Um, but we won these at an auction. I'd say we did pay because we paid up for these. $200, I want to say, is what we paid for them, but they sold as the lot for $449, so we still made decent profit on that. Um, Again, another little toy lot. These were Bratz dolls, and they were all nude, so no clothes, just the dolls, 
and they sold for $39.99 and most of those came from yard sales. Also sold a WWE, this was Brie and Nikki Bella battle pack. This was brand new, still sealed. It came from an auction and we sold it for $35.99. A Fenton blue glass hand painted vase for $39.99. That also came from an auction. Nice item also came from an auction. This was a Norman Brum copper enamel plate that sold for $64.99. And uh, this next item, someone purchased two sets of these. So these were two Jeanette glass, um, they did glow, uh, cherry blossom pattern uh, cups and saucers. So two sets of those for a total of $51.99. I'm trying to think of where we picked those up. They were, probably came from an auction. Next item actually came from a thrift store. This was a wood duck decoy by Stony Point. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store. I paid $15 for it and it sold for $59.99 very quickly, might I add. Uh, this item came from an auction. This was a Briar by Briar, the maker that, you know, makes the horses and stuff. So Briar pronghorn deer. I think I said on one of my last stitchings when I sold a briar piece, I think it was like an Angus bull. Um, I was just, you know, I saw these briar animals and they weren't deer. So I decided to look them up and there was, there was value in those. And this pronghorn deer sold for $99 and 99 cents. So definitely a desirable one. Um, let's see, I sold another WWE item. This was a championship belt, uh, so a kid's toy. Um, we won this at the auction, same time I was winning a bunch of like other wrestling figures. Uh, anyway, we won three of these. There were three of them there. They were all still brand new. Um, Eric paid $9 for it and it sold for $64.99. Uh, we sold a Matchbox Harley Davidson semi-truck. Semi this sold for $39.99 and that probably came from a yard sale. Uh, next item came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. This was not the last rummage sale we went to but the one um, prior to that. But it was an end of day glass um, lampshade. Uh, I paid $2 for it because it didn't fit in my bag. And it sold for $124.99. So that was still just really great. Um, I will say a little, not necessarily funny story because I don't think the buyer was impressed by any means, but um, the postal system dropped the ball on this thing. So the lampshade was going to Washington, like Washington State. I live in Pennsylvania, so, you know, it's just making its trek across the United States, right? No. This lampshade went to Haiti. Haiti! How in the world did it go from Pennsylvania to Haiti? I have no idea. It went to Haiti. You know where it went after Haiti? Sorry, I had a really large coffee today. Um, after Haiti, it went to Hawaii. Hawaii! And then it finally did make its way to Washington State, but this lampshade went on a vacation. And I was just thinking like, oh, the longer a glass item is in the postal system, like, you know, I was just expecting the worst, like it arriving completely broken or something because it just, it took forever to get to the buyer because for whatever reason, the postal system wasn't sending it correctly. I have no idea what happened there but it was really stressing me out. I'm sure the buyer was stressed out as well, but it did finally reach its destination. But my goodness, I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, next item was, this also came from the antique store that day um, I was filming there. This was um, Sears Roebuck, so the, um, the maker of uh, the, the Merry Mushroom sets, but this one was like a hatching chick. It was a ceramic, um, you could use it as a planter or a utensil holder type of thing. I paid, I'd say around $8 for it because it was, you know, 
um, they were doing a deal there at that uh, particular um, antique booth and it sold for $29.99. It did also have a crack in it, but it was a harder to find piece. So I took a chance on it and I still think I did okay. Um, we sold a hall refrigerator pitcher in um, the print autumn leaf. That sold for $69.99 and that came from an auction. This next item also came from an antique store. Um, you guys know I love picking up blossom bucket stuff and I saw this and I was like, I have never seen this before in my life. It was a blossom bucket Easter tree. So really cool piece. I paid $14 for it at the antique store and it sold for $72. That went overseas. A lot of times, blossom bucket pieces go to buyers overseas. Um, I sold a Badgley Mishka purse for $69.99. I think this came from a yard sale originally. It did take a very long time to sell, and it was probably because my pictures were horrible. I should have updated my pictures um, like a long time ago because you can see in the picture it's just not a very good picture it just didn't look good it was a very beautiful purse but that picture did it no justice whatsoever uh next item i sold was a wire metal dress form so this would be good to hang um like the little fish hook type backing earrings on or what have you but that sold for 29 dollars 99 and it came in a box lot of stuff that we had won at an auction. The next item was just for these tiny, tiny little plastic Moon Dreamers replacement wand. So Moon Dreamers were these vintage toys back in the 80s. Um, and this was just like a little replacement wand that went with one of the dolls. And it sold for $34.77. So even just little replacement pieces can do really well. And I will also say like at the auction tonight, it's a lot of wrestling figures, like vintage wrestling figures, but there's also a lot of vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Big Bad Beetleborgs and stuff like that. And I found this one piece, I don't even know exactly what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playset it goes to, but it's just this like round plastic eye and it was selling for like $40 or so just for this one little replacement piece. So definitely little pieces of things can also sometimes sell really well. It's, it's very surprising sometimes. Um, sold a Fenton class egg for $54.99. This was um, purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. Eric had purchased like a bunch of different like varieties of Fenton glass eggs and a couple paperweights. Um, sold an unsilvered Christmas ornament for $29.99. This came out of a box of vintage Christmas stuff that we have won at an auction. A uh, nice item came from a folk art auction. This was another Menno wood painted piece of a gray goose that sold for $45.99. Let's see, sold a Viking glass. Um, this was in the cabbage leaf pattern pink fairy lamp that sold for $90 and that came from the lady we bought a bunch of Viking glass off of. You know, we still haven't um, listed any of our long tail Viking birds yet. I don't know what Eric is waiting on. Some of them might actually go into the booth though. Uh, we sold an Allen Singer hummingbird for $39.99. Uh, this also came from an auction. So here's an Avon perfume that sold for decent money. This was an older one called, and I had never heard of it before until I saw it at the auction. I was just kind of drawn to the packaging. I thought it was really, really cute. And I just decided to take a look at it, and I'm glad I did because nobody else wanted it. Pretty sure I only paid a dollar for it. Uh, the perfume was called Daisies Won't Tell, and it sold for $49.99. Eric just texted not going good. I was, I told him, I was like, I'm probably looking up all of this stuff for nothing because there will be people there specifically for toys, especially if they're collectors. And it's hard to compete with collectors. Um, but you know, I look up stuff. So like I know actual resale value for the stuff and not everyone does that. Some people just, you know, they'll bid and think like, okay, well, whatever like you know just hoping for the best 
and it's like that's not the way you should do it it's, it's just not but there are so many people who do it that way uh, next three items went to a subscriber named Sandra I think Sandra just actually purchased two of my perfume bottles so they'll probably be in another um cha-ching but anyway, she purchased a coach purse for $39.99. This either came from a yard sale or a fill a bag rummage sale. Um, a Tumi crossbody purse. This came from an auction. Um, that sold for $49.99. And then she also purchased a new old stock CoverGirl Makeup Mates makeup brush. I got a bunch of these at a yard sale. I think I paid $0.10. Cents, and I sold a bunch of the the sponges, the makeup sponges that were brand new, still sealed, but I still do have um, some of the makeup brushes and the makeup brush sold for $9.99. I sold a Kitchen Littles barbecue party play set. So this was also new in the box. Picked this up at a yard sale for 50 cents and it sold for $59.99. Just absolutely crazy. Um, let's see, I sold, this was an old, it was marked on the back, 1871. It was a little wood, um, Adirondack, what they called tramp art, uh, wooden frame. It was on the smaller side, and there was a picture in it of a cow, and the cow was stepping on its udder, and it said underneath the cow, you think you're having a bad day. It was so funny. But I think people just, you know, more or less wanted it for the frame. And that sold for $31. Okay, so this is probably one of my better sales that I've had in a while. This was actual amber, which is very expensive. This was a red carved, completely made out of amber bird. Um, I wish there had been two of these. This was at an auction with um, an amber elephant and I haven't listed the elephant yet. Um, but I don't know if people either didn't realize that it was real amber or why no one was really interested in it. Guys, Guess how much I paid for this bird. If you want to say I paid for the elephant and the bird, I paid $5 for this bird, okay? Uh, with the elephant, it was $10. So I paid $10 for the pair of them. But let's just say $5 for this bird, right? It sold for, well, you can see it, $896. Oh my gosh, that was so, so good. Um, that also went overseas and I think probably whoever purchased it, I mean, maybe they'll use it to like make jewelry or something. I don't know, but that was just, whoo, I could not believe I walked away with that for so little. It's insane. It's just so insane. And that's why I love auctions so much. Like sometimes you just get really, 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 really lucky. And other times like today, Everything will probably be going way over retail, and I just spent, like, probably an hour researching wrestling figures. So, I don't even want to talk about that right now. Anyway, next item was an early American Press glass. This was by Flint Glass. It was a blue um, bowl or vase that sold for $29.99, and that came from an auction. Next item also came from an auction. This was an Aladdin oil lamp and it was in this beautiful pink color they call this color moonstone so it's definitely a desirable a desirable aladdin oil lamp we paid 75 dollars for it and it sold for 259 dollars and 99 cents so that one was a good one too um next item is another norman brum plate this one had a mouse on it and it sold for 69 dollars and 99 cents came from that same folk art auction. Uh, next item was a, from 1993, Zalik Studio Art Glass Perfume Bottle. This was absolutely beautiful. It sold for $129.99. And I feel like Eric purchased this off of Facebook Marketplace, possibly. Maybe it wasn't this one. I'm thinking of another one. So this one probably came from an auction. 
Um, next item came from a beauty auction. This was a Dr. Dennis moisturizer. Sold for $99.99. Why I love picking up beauty stuff. Uh, sold a Cabbage Patch Kids doll for $49.99. This was in a box, but it wasn't like brand new in the box. It just, you know, came with the box. Sold a, this was an old cardboard um, rabbit, gold rabbit candy container. That sold for $44.99 and won that at an auction. Here's another one of those Fenton glass eggs. This one sold for $39.99 and came from that same Facebook Marketplace uh, pickup. This next item also came from Facebook Marketplace. Erica purchased a bunch of Waterford crystal figures and we sold pretty much all of them. I think we only have maybe one or two left. This one was of a race car and it sold for $120. Um, I sold a pottery vase by, um, the brand was Stu or, yeah, Studio and Me, uh, Honey and Me, and that sold for $26.99. I picked that up at a thrift store, so I probably paid about $3.99 or so for it. Next item also came from a beauty auction. This was an Elemis contour cream that sold for $59.99. Also sold a Staffordshire cat. It was just one cat. It didn't have its pair. Um, but just that one cat sold for $49.99. And it was on the small side. I'd say it was like yay big. Um, and that actually came in a lot of some stuff that I won at an auction. Sold a Monster High Golia Yelp scooter. This was brand new in the box. This came from a yard sale and it sold for $29.99. Last thing that I have for this cha-ching was, this was an interactive baby doll by Lovabella. These sell really, really well. This was in a lot that we won at the auction. We paid like $35 to $40 for the lot that this doll was in. And there's still like other stuff in that, that was with this doll that I do plan on listing. But this doll sold for $129.99. So it was a really neat doll. Like I put the batteries in and it did, it did all this kind of stuff. Like it would talk and move and you know the eyes open and close. And then it had these like interactive accessories like the bottle and the pacifier and things like that. Um, and even just those accessories can sell really well as well so just putting it out there if you ever come across this doll i had no idea about it until i saw it at the auction that day um so that is everything for this cha-ching my ebay sales are down 8.6 percent i do feel like ebay is kind of been down for me a little bit. I know it doesn't seem that way, like going through my cha-chings, but it, it is down for me. Um, and, but I do feel like it's, it's starting to pick up a little bit. Um, I have quite a few packages. How many packages do I have going out so far? Five. So, I mean, I do feel, I do honestly feel like it's starting to pick up a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> Here, Recently, I feel like it's just been kind of slow. So, and I know I have seen other people saying the same thing on, you know, some of the Facebook, eBay groups. So, um, you know, it's not just me. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you have noticed um, a slowdown. Uh, April tends to be that way, especially, you know, it being tax season and everything. Like, if I would look back on my sales year after year, April is just not a good month. Um, so the only thing you can really do is keep sourcing and keep listing and, you know, eventually it'll start to pick up again. I feel like some people just feel like giving up or slowing down and I just don't think that's good. <laughs> like, definitely just keep, keep listing keep sourcing and you know it'll eventually get better again but um you know summer in of itself like the summer months can be can be slow so it's, it's just you know it's gonna happen 
year after year, you know, it's just that way. Um, but as far as eBay goes, oh, I don't think I really have anything much else to say. I told you the story about the lampshade that had a vacation. Um, and as far as anything just recently, um, booth sales have been really good as well for this month. So that's always exciting. Um, you know, sometimes I'm just so surprised at what sells so quickly out of the booth and then stuff that doesn't sell quickly that you would think would sell quickly, but it doesn't. And then like, you know, the, some of the things that just go so quick, it's like, what? seriously? Like, <laughs> maybe I'm sourcing the wrong things for my booth or something. You know what I mean? Uh, but it is, it is going well. Um... Yard sale season is pretty much upon us. Every week I at least have some sort of sale to go to, so that's exciting. Um, I am going to, am I going to a church sale this year? Yeah, this year. Um, I'm trying to think of what I have planned. I didn't do my yard sale list, like, as far as what yard sales, like, are this week. I will do that later on this evening, so I'm not even quite sure what all I have to go to this week. Um, but so the past like two weeks or so, um, there've been a lot of book sales recently at various local libraries. <laughs> so my best friend and I, we went to one the other week and I didn't really find much. I think I only bought three books and then we went to another one we went to the one in Gettysburg their library sale last week and I got like a ton of books I don't even know how many it was it was probably like maybe 10 to 12 books I found a lot of good books that day um and we went out for brunch and then you know we stopped at a thrift store so that was really fun and then this coming week I think we might be going to another book sale in Dillsburg um and probably getting brunch again because we love to eat um so yeah books and food I mean two of my favorite things really um so that's pretty much everything for this chitang. I think I'm done rambling. I drank way too much coffee today. I was able to get a free coffee at Dunkin'. So I did that and now I'm all like hyped up. So before I crash horribly, I'm gonna get off here and go edit this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.